Okay, so let's just finish up with Sharpie gate with what is sort of the obvious revelation. It's now being reported that Donald Trump personally used a Sharpie to draw a bubble on Hurricane Dorian's track map, which was inaccurate. We don't want to give more importance to Sharpie gate than it deserves, especially when when you look at what Donald Trump is doing at the border or geopolitically with Iran, with climate, with our allies. That is all so much worse and so much more impactful than Sharpie gate. But Sharpie gate is worth talking about in that it reflects a delusional and unsettling commitment to an absolutely backwards version of the truth that signals a fundamentally unwell person in Donald Trump, which won't come as a surprise to people who have been watching me for a while. So to catch you up, if you haven't followed this story and I envy you, if, if that's the case, Donald Trump tweeted last week that Hurricane Dorian was putting Alabama at risk. It wasn't. Instead of just saying, oh, it wasn't <clears throat> Donald Trump doubled, tripled and quadrupled down climaxing in holding up a version of the hurricane track map that had an additional bubble drawn around parts of Alabama. Now, this was not an official weather map, and we knew it was doctored partially because as more as you go into the future, the whole way. Let me see if I can explain this. The way that these cones of possible hurricane trajectory work is that they become wider and more encompassing over time because uncertainty goes up the further into the future you're predicting. So the fact that a smaller cone of the possible track was was uh, drawn in later in the hurricane is mathematically impossible. But putting if you didn't realize that this was not an official weather map, we knew it was doctored. But the White House now is saying that Donald Trump personally drew the Sharpie bubble. This is according to The Washington Post an official from the White House saying that, quote, no one else writes like that on a map with a black Sharpie. Now, I will tell you, this is so obvious to me. The only thing that makes me doubt it is that when I imagine Donald Trump drawing, I don't envision him having a steady enough hand to draw such a clean circle between his sort of erratic demeanor in speeches, his sniffing and huffing and puffing, his signature that looks like an EKG. I would imagine if you told Donald Trump to draw a circle that it would be a shaky circle. But other than that, of course, we suspected that Donald Trump did this himself. This makes his confused denial the other day even funnier, though. Remember this when Donald Trump was asked about a Sharpie being used and he just looked away and repeated that he doesn't know. And that map that you today looked like it's almost had like a Sharpie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And that map that you today looked like it's almost had like a Sharpie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And that map that you showed today looked like it almost had like a sharpie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was him. Of course, it was him the whole time. And another minor flub, uh, uh, a again, that no one would have cared about had Donald Trump not tripled down and quadrupled down on it. It's sort of like the supposedly record setting inauguration crowd all over again or three to five million people voted illegally for Hillary Clinton. And otherwise, I would have won the popular vote. You say it once as outrageous as it is, but then you just let it go or admit that you were wrong or at least you don't fight it tooth and nail. And it mostly goes away. Instead, when you go after it and double and triple and quadruple down, it becomes huge and hugely embarrassing to anyone who even has the capability to have a sense of shame. It's not clear Donald Trump does. And this is just insecurity, right? When you are so insecure that you can't even admit to the most minor mistake, uh, you really show what is actually going on there. And this is not, you know, mind reading or speculation. It's the most benign possible explanation of Donald Trump choosing to double, triple and quadruple down on obvious lies. Insecurity is the least bad explanation. The others are far, far worse. So maybe this is the end of Sharpie Gate. I don't know. Uh, but we will see if this uh, rears its ugly head again.